Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Strata, New York. I'm here with Sharmila Mulligan. Sharmila, how are you doing? I'm doing well. Now, you're with Clear Story Data. That's right. I'm the CEO and founder of Clear Story Data. Okay, and so Clear Story Data, it, it, it almost sounds like what it is, or is it, does, is it what it sounds like? Absolutely. It's all about telling a clear story with data. Um, and not to be too cliche there, but we are really solving three problems. Um, First is more companies are trying to get data from many more sources to uh, be able to see more signals in what is happening in the business. So this whole issue of being able to access a lot of data diversity and bring all that data to the stakeholders in the business that need to be able to actually explore and gain insights is one of the key things in data happening right now, and that's one of our big focus areas. We call it data harmonization. Okay, so you gave a keynote yesterday. That's right. Can you uh, touch on what the highlights were? Of Absolutely. What, yeah. Yeah. So yesterday at Strata, we unveiled what we call interactive collaborative storyboards. And what interactive collaborative storyboards are all about is really telling more interactive stories with data. But the difference between storyboards and the last generation of dashboards is really a couple of things. One is the amount of data that you can now bring into a storyboard that you can't do with traditional dashboards. And this goes back to my first point, is about 74% of companies are trying to bring into the line of business more than four or five sources of data to view into in a single holistic view. So storyboards actually let you bring a lot more data to the surface, both in terms of the volume and the number of sources that you can pull together and actually start gleaning insights out of. The second thing that we are doing with interactive storyboards is the speed and the depth of the exploration. So imagine if you are being presented with a data story that includes data from many more sources and a lot more volume. What the business wants to be able to do with that then is deeply explore it and go through kind of a question and answer on what is actually happening in the data. You know, what is happening in, in let's say, in sales trends? What's happening in the 94025 zip code? Why does it look different than what it looked like two days ago? Digging and digging through that through exploration to understand what is really behind it. So the second aspect of storyboards is about the deep, deep, fast exploration. So that's kind of the data discovers more data? That's and right. helps you find more questions about the data? That's exactly right. And underneath that, and the reason you in clear storyboards, you can actually explore data at a deep level and do it very fast is because what's powering that is our Spark technology. So okay. underneath storyboards, we are using Spark as a way to actually bring more data to the user, to the surface at very high speeds, and enable very, very fast exploration on more volumes of data. Okay. The third aspect of storyboards is, as it says in its name, interactive collaborative storyboards, the collaboration piece, right? So when you're actually looking at a storyboard, and you have a number of people in the business who are looking at these storyboards that contain more data, that contain more ability to explore them, you're naturally going to want to ask more questions and collaborate with your peers, yeah. right? The nature of people in the business is they work with each other, right? They don't work in silos. They collaborate with each other. They're social beings. They go back and forth all day long on what they're trying to do and what decisions they're trying to make. Traditionally, this has been done through email, yeah. through static PowerPoints, yep. through PDFs, through conference notes calls. Notes in Excel. Notes in Excel. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, uh, ha ha every company we talk to, our data says that about 70% of companies are actually conversing about the data through email, through phone calls, and in some cases, even like moving the data back into Excel just so that they have a tool that the business people can actually yeah. use. It's a horrendous problem. The number of PowerPoints, PDFs, all that. So collaboration and real-time collaboration and storyboards allow users to now actually collaborate in real time on what they're seeing and do almost a question and answer and iteration cycle inside the storyboard itself. What it looks like, 
is almost like the panel you see on an application like Cora. You see an observation, you ask the question, the author of the storyboard can answer right away. If you want more data to be brought in, you can say, this is where I want to see more data. That data can be brought to the surface very quickly. And you go through this very fast like iteration process with your peers through the storyboard itself. So think about it as more data from more sources, a high degree of exploration and interactivity, and a deep level of user engagement through collaboration. And so the big difference between that and a dashboard, the dashboard was kind of static, defined, yep. and you got your dials that changed and the data changed, yep. but when you had questions about why, you really couldn't go further into the dashboard. That's right, exactly it was, right. Or you, you, but you click on it and then you go into yeah. the data, but. It, with the dashboard, because it is built on sort of a predefined schema. Right, right. Because somebody has predetermined that, if you need to go explore something at a deeper exactly. level and ask a question, you're going to hit a wall in terms of how far you can go with that exploration. Or hit a load of email. Or, or hit yeah. a load of email. Yeah. So you first hit a wall, yeah. because you can't go that far in that exploration. That wall then generates a whole lot of emails to say, I also need this data, I can't see this, why did this happen? Yeah, exactly. And this just becomes a, a never-ending swirl of weeks and weeks lost in the, in the cycle. So you're absolutely right that with the ability to do interactive collaborative storyboards, you can now keep driving deeper into the stories that you see on the storyboards, and you don't have any of those issues of like predefined schema, oops, I hit a wall, I can't, can't access any more questions of this. The other thing is just the amount of data that surfaced in the first place is much more than you can surface in a dashboard. And then the collaborative aspect, like none of the dashboards were built for people collaborating on decisions. I want to add one more thing about collaboration. Yeah. It is not sharing, right? Sharing yeah. is just static sharing of information. To do very good, deep collaboration, you need a user governance model, which says, you can see this, I can see that in the storyboard. Yep. You get to like explore this data, I don't get to explore this data because I don't have the rights to see right. that data. Sure. So deep user governance, is a lot of where we've invested it's in the collaboration. In. Yeah, okay. it's absolutely oh, built nice, in. Nice. User security, user governance, who can do what to that storyboard, who can see what. Now everyone can ask questions and everyone can say, I need to see this next level of information. Maybe I'm allowed to see it, you're not allowed to see it because it's some highly sensitive data. That's all built into the collaboration. Excellent, so you know, I see this as one of the more important pieces yeah. of the data world is the ability to surface stories yes. and to, to make sense of your customers, make sense of your products, your company, whatever you're needing to look at. So where do you see your company going in the next 12 months? Yep, absolutely. So Twistory has always been focused on solving three problems. The first is about bringing data together from many sources faster. And we have invested in that now for several years we built a lot of IP around the smart technology. We call it disparate data harmonization. Yep. The second aspect of what we focused on is fast exploration. Yep. It's the other reason That's we great. have the whole engine underneath the application. Very, very fast exploration across more data. The third aspect is about storytelling. Yep. And we started with the ability to actually develop stories and share stories, which has been part of the product and what we launched here at Strata last year. We've now added this third leg, which is very interactive storytelling for more people to participate in stories with the right user governance around it. So this has always been our trajectory, is to add the third piece of it, so more people in the business can actually appreciate and explore and interact and engage with the data, and we have deepened our investment in that area with introducing storyboards. Excellent. So where are we going? You know, I believe that disparate data harmonization, exploration, and very interactive storytelling is what's going to drive more data into the hands of the business, and that's like our number one goal. Excellent, I think it's a wonderful mission. Absolutely. I wish you well and hope to see you next year. Yeah, thanks Thank so much you. for today, it's great to meet you.